Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about problem set 7 working 9 to 5 of CS50 introduction to programming with Python. If you would like to have full support from a programming expert via Telegram group and group coaching, check the description below. And we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have an alternative view about the problem. We totally disencourage plagiarism. All right, so let's just start this problem. Basically in here, we're gonna receive a number, uh, a time, all right? For example, working from 9 colon 00 a.m. to 5 colon 00 p.m. Or we're gonna receive this other structure, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we have to convert this into a 24 uh, a 24 hour format, all right? So instead of saying 5 p.m., we're gonna say 17 and so on, okay? This is what our goal. And in the end, we're gonna work with testing our, our code, okay? The convert function, this convert function in here, all right? This is the steps we're gonna work. So first, I already copied this code and I paste here in my term, in my, uh, what is the name of this? My VS Code, okay? And let's start working. So basically, we have to find this pattern here, okay? We have to find this pattern of these two patterns. And we only accept receiving time with these two patterns. If we don't receive something like this, we're gonna raise a value error, all right? If we receive the correct format for the number, for example, 12, uh, 16, 60 a.m. this does not exist or 13 p.m. this does not exist as well okay so to find this pattern we're gonna use regular expressions let's see how they work a regex or regular expression is a sequence of characters that forms a search pattern the regular expression can be used to check if a string contains the specified search pattern python has a built-in package called re which can be used to work with regular expressions so we saw how regular expressions uh, are important for us in this code, okay? And why are we gonna use regular expressions? Because this way we can find a pattern, all right? And we can use one specific function of regular expression that it has named search. So we're gonna search for this uh, that specific pattern. If we receive that pattern, we're gonna continue our code. Otherwise, we will uh, skip. We're gonna raise a value error. All right, so let's understand how the search function works. The search function searches the string for a match and returns a match object if there is a match. If there is more than one match, only the first occurrence of the match will be returned. For example, we have a variable called txt that stores the value the rain in Spain. We can use the function read.search to find if the word rain exists in the variable txt. In this case, the output of our code will be a match object telling us that we have the word rain inside of our text. We can think about another example. What if we want to find the word Portugal inside of our txt variable? We can use the re.search function again. So in this case, we would change the word rain to Portugal. Then the output of this code will be none because no match were found. So like we saw, we can use the search, okay? We put search, the parameter, the pattern we wanna search for, and then the variable that is storing this search that we wanna find. Okay, so to do this, I'm gonna copy these two patterns, okay? And we're gonna use this regex 101 that it's really good for testing if the regular expression is working. So here this is, is the testing string and here is the regular expression we're gonna insert, okay? So let's start working with our code. Basically, we're gonna create some groups, okay? I'm gonna create a group first for the time, okay? And then in this group, we're gonna find the hour and the minute, okay? Then we're gonna find the letters, true, blah, blah, blah. And again, the hour, the minute, and the a.m. and p.m., okay? So for the time, we can have numbers from zero to nine, okay? So zero to nine, it can be uh, the time that we have in here. And we can have time like 10, 11, and 12. So we're gonna create here from uh, zero to two okay and this won't it is not necessarily um uh, this second part is not necessary that's why we use this asterisk because if we have the num the time nine it doesn't need to have a number after this okay so in this way we can get numbers from zero 
until 12. All right, so this is the first part. And then we have to get the minutes. So the minutes, they can be split with the colon or not. Okay, that's why we use the star for the colon. And then the minute, they can be in a range of 0 until 59. So to do this, we're gonna put here 0 to 5, and then we're gonna put here 0 to 9. Okay, and sorry, I put the wrong way. <laughs> so here we can say 0 to 5, and then 0 to 9. Okay, and this way we, we work with the first part. All right, this is kind of the way we're gonna work. And this part of the minutes is not necessary because we, as we can see here, we can have only the time. So we can put a star here and it won't be necessary anymore, okay? After this, we have to find the AM, PM. So we're gonna put in here, it can be A or P, okay? And then we have the letter M. This is what we're getting in here, AM and PM, okay? Then we have to find the word true. And again, the same pattern that we have in here before, okay? Let me just see if I got all correct. Yes, so we're gonna get here again the same, this first group, okay? Actually, we're gonna copy everything again because this will be the same pattern again, okay? So this is it. Let me see if we have something wrong. And it seems to be matching everything the way it's supposed to be, okay? And we can add here a dollar sign and in the beginning we can add here this sign to say that we want a specific this string, okay? And we're having the match for the both cases. So this means that this regular expression is correct, so we can copy and we can use in our code, all right? I'm gonna create a, a variable called is correct format, okay? And I'm gonna use the research function. So what will be the pattern we're gonna add inside? It will be this pattern that we just did. And what is the variable we want to look for this pattern is the variable s that we're receiving in here. Okay, so this is it. One thing that we have to work is that CS50 gave us a hint to use stri raw strings. Okay, because this can give us an issue when we are working with regular expressions. You can take a look here in the hints. So basically to make this row of strings, we put the letter R in front. And do you see everything is red right now? Okay, so this way we can search for the pattern. We're gonna do an if condition. So if correct format, we're gonna do something. All right, and we're gonna do this later. And the else, we're gonna raise a value error exception. So we're gonna raise this value error exception that they are telling us to do. So we're gonna do this part in here, okay? And that's it for now. All right, this is the first part. Now we need to get the groups that we have here in our regular expression. The test already gave us some groups, okay? So let's take a look. If we use group, these groups, it's something that is specified in the hints, you can take a look. So the groups return a tuple containing all the subgroups of the match from one up to however many groups are in the pattern. The default argument is used for groups that did not participate in the match. It defaults to none. So in here we can see the groups, all right? The first group will be the time, okay? The, f the second group will be the hour, the third group will be the minute, the fourth group will be a.m or p.m. The fifth group will be the time for the, the ending hours of work. Then the, the group six will be the time, the hour, the group seven will be the, the minute, and finally the last group will be a.m. or p.m. Okay, so we can kind of split this way. And if you take a look, we have the same pattern for both cases, the same groups for both cases. Okay, so let's work with our code. Here, what are we gonna do inside? We're gonna create a variable called pieces. For example, I prefer calling pieces. And it will be the is correct format. And we're gonna use the dot groups, okay? Let's see what, what it returned to us, pieces. And let's use this number here, okay? So if we run our code, python working.py, and if we put this hour, this will be the return for the groups method. So we have here the time, hour, minute, a.m., p.m., time, hour, minute, and a.m., p.m. Okay, like we are expecting. So now we need to do some checkings, all right? The first check we need to do is to check if the hour for both cases is greater than 12. 
okay? And this means that we are not correct. If, if this time is greater than 10, uh, is greater than 9, then 11, sorry. This means that this is not the correct hour. We, don't, we can't have 13 p.m., 17 p.m., all right? That's why we're, we're going to do this. So if int pieces, so in which position is the first time? In position 1. So int pieces is greater than 12 or int pieces on position, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's greater than 12. What we're gonna do? We're gonna raise again a value error because this means that it's not the correct format, okay? Because we can't have our greater than 12 in the 12 hours format, all right? Then now we need to convert now that we did this checking, we need to convert the hour, the 12 hours format into 24 hours format. So to do this, we're gonna make a function, okay? So I'm gonna define here a function called, for example, define new format, okay? And I'm gonna receive the hour, minute, and a.m. or p.m. Okay, this will be the parameters we're gonna work with. So the first thing we're gonna do later, we can work with the main function, all right? Right now, let's work with creating this this part. So the main, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check if it's a.m. or p.m. because depending on the case, the hour will change. So if a.m. p.m. is equals to a.m., what are we gonna do? We're going to change. Sorry, here p.m. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get our hour. We're we have to check our, our hour. If the hour is 12 and it's p.m., let's take a look in here in this conversion table. If it's 12 p.m. here, the time should be zero. Okay, so this will be the first checking. The other cases, we're gonna convert. Uh, we're gonna convert our hour to the hour that we're receiving plus 12. Okay, so for example, 1 p.m. is 13, 2 p.m. is 14. We're always adding 12. So this will be our first checking. So if int hour is equal to 12, we're gonna convert new, we're gonna create a variable called new hour that will be equal to zero, okay? Let me see, p.m. Sorry, this is a.m. So p.m. here, 12 p.m. It's 12, okay? Like we can see in here, 12 p.m. is 12.